Three years ago, Megan Hyatt's twin babies were murdered in her arms. Her own father was shot to death right in front of her. But the story you're about to see is one of remarkable recovery and of hope. Yeah, you're about to see Megan for the first time in three years. Her recovery makes us ask, how in the world can she do that? Jeannie Blaylock has our exclusive tonight. I finally feel pretty. I just wear makeup to feel like a better me. It's called Fit Me by Maybelline. It is beauty. Become quite the master of doing it blind. From hell. Now, when we're with the other two, my boyfriend shot me, my twin, my dad. And the bullet went through this eye. I knew I could feel my eyeball, which was like hanging down here. The agony still there. Her baby girls murdered in mama's arms. I was holding them in my arms like this. And her final act as a mom turning her baby's faces away from the gun. Because I was trying to protect them the best that I knew how. Her boyfriend murdering their own babies, killing Megan's father, too. He said, watch your dad. Watch him. And maybe watch him kill my dad and murder me. It was a triple murder-suicide. I remember being in that hospital room with you. I couldn't even fathom how you were going to cope with all this. Aren't you impressed? Yes, I am. <laughs> I love that. I'm very impressed. Wherever you are, my love will find you. And it is here. That's me, my sweet baby. My love is right there. Megan finds know. peace. You'll never outgrow it. It stretches itself. She comes to read to her girls. You are loved. You are loved. You are loved, they will say. Determined to be peaceful, even with those memories. There's no place, not one, that my love can't find you. Determined to push away the words, the poison of domestic abuse. He would wake me up at 3 in the morning sometimes to just yell at me, you're worthless. You're fat, you're ugly. What kind of mother are you? You have nowhere to go. You're a waste of space. Disgusting, but she didn't see the real poison. She did not realize it was actually abuse because... He never hit me. Now she knows. Now she's smarter, she says. I've come very far. It took belief in herself, but she needed more to cope. <laughs> You hyperventilate. Yeah. A siren, and she'd hide here in the closet. Did anything help you with the PTSD? No, nothing. So she spent months in MNRI therapy. That's Mascotova Neurosensory Motor Reflex Integration. So this is the fear paralysis reflex that we're working. Complex, but it works at the subconscious level to turn off the trauma. So from like 20 something nightmares a, a week to what now? Maybe one. For the whole week? Mm-hmm. Wow. Such progress, she is now back in college. Her plan, run shelters for domestic violence nationwide. It is her promise to God. He saved me, so I plan on keeping that promise. No wavering, no hesitation. I overcame the tragedy. You see, now she can talk about that day out of hell. It doesn't get much worse than that. And yes, those are blunt words. I now feel like the strongest, prettiest woman there is. But perhaps proof of a beautiful recovery. And done. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, to see where she is three years later is amazing. It is amazing, it really you, is. You heard Megan talk about her eye being shot. A few months ago, she actually got a prosthetic eye. You know, it's a beautiful gray-blue, just like her other eye. Megan says it's perfect, even though she's blind in that eye. And she's always positive, but the question tonight is, could the Navy have prevented this tragedy? No doubt, 
there were red flags. Megan actually filed a lawsuit against the Navy and tonight at six we're going to dig into what those results are. And you may be wondering about that innovative treatment Megan got to cope with her PTSD. Well, you'll find more information right now on our website, firstcoastnews.com. Just look for the story on Megan Hyatt.